Hello! Uh, this is Maria with Four Season Foraging, and I just wanted to do a quick little video for you about foraging in winter. Um, I get the question a lot, is Four Season Foraging an actual thing? And yes, yes it is. Uh, so I just wanted to show you a few things today. This isn't going to be the best quality video. I'm just literally holding my phone with my hand right now. Um, I don't have my tripod or any equipment really, but but I just want to show you a few things. So let's get to it. So first of all, here on this picnic table where I was sitting, there's a little pile of acorns from a squirrel who probably ran away at my approach. Um, and if we look around the landscape here, there are lots of white oaks. Um, and this year was actually a mast year for the oaks in Minnesota. Um, in case you don't know, basically oak trees produce tons of acorns like every few years and um, other years they produce very few or practically none. But this year was a mast year which means they produce a ton of acorns and might actually be able to find some just by digging around under the leaf litter here. Um, probably not the best quality of the acorns, but anyway, just by kicking a few things around, you can see here's a little piece of one. These might be squirrel chewed, excuse me, squirrel chewed as well. Um, but I mean, they need to be leached and cooked anyway, so you don't really have to worry too much about squirrel diseases. Um, <laughs> and anyway, I don't, yeah, I don't really recommend, um, this isn't the ideal time of year to harvest acorns, but I'm just showing that it can be done if, you know, you're in a survival situation or something like that. And there's actually quite a lot of leaves that will stay alive under the snow. Um, so when you have like a thaw like this, or if you like kick under the snow, you can often find them. These here are um, gill over the ground or ground ivy, or there's like a million names for them, but they, uh, it's a plant in the mint family and it has a lot of medicinal properties similar to other mints, such as like treating colds and flu and stomach aches and that kind of thing. Um, but it could just be eaten as well. And uh, earlier I saw some dandelion too buried underneath the snow, which of course is a edible and medicinal plant. Um, might be able to find some more. It's mostly like ground ivy in this particular area, but you know, there's other plants that do that too. Um, and then I also want to point out, I think my finger just got in there, sorry. <laughs> uh, I want to point out these white pines. So there's lots of them planted here and white pine needles. Let's walk over here. They're a great source of vitamin C. You can make a tea out of them. You can infuse like vinegar or syrup. Um, and you can see they have this like feathery look. This is distinctive of white pines. Um, and the needles grow in bunches of five. So you see there's a bunch of needles here and there's five coming up. And then the limbs are mostly horizontal. You've got this thick, dark bark. Um, and yeah, it's a great, uh, also medicinal plant. You can use it to treat coughs and colds and that kind of thing. And besides the white pines, there's other evergreens growing around here too. Where are they? There they are. Um, <laughs> there's some spruces in the background there. Um, so from here, they look like Norway spruces, which um, you can tell a Norway spruce because they have these like big long cones. Um, let me just try to zoom in and see. Does it look bad? Okay, it doesn't look that bad. You can see those big cones at the top and then the overall shape is like droopy, if that makes sense. <laughs> um, 
Whereas other pine, um, sorry, other spruces have more of like an upright shape. And so yeah, spruce needles can be used similarly to pine needles. Uh, you know, make a tea, infuse them in something, drink them. Don't want to just like eat plain spruce needles. Um, unless they're in spring and they're spruce tips, in which case they're tender and delicious and quite different from what we can find this time of year. Um, just kicking around the snow some more. Trying to see if I can find any other plants. There are plants that grow underneath the snow. I'm not crazy. And <laughs> um, they're not technically evergreens, but they do kind of act like an evergreen. I mean, not I guess not really. It's just um, it's just that they're more hardy than many other plants, and you can find them growing down here. Let's see what we have. So, oh, what's this? Oh, it's a dandelion. I told you. Okay, he probably didn't disbelieve me anyway, but. Anyway, I think I kicked it up from its plant self. Just ripped that leaf off on accident. Um, and you can see these little ground ivies too. And of course grass. Grass just grows everywhere all the time. Um, and here we have a little lake. There might be some cool aquatic species growing down there. I um, don't want to spend too much time just like walking <laughs> but um uh, I was hoping to find some hackberries here um I'm sure there's some somewhere but over there are more spruces so those kind of pointy topped trees that are evergreens um so many evergreens are edible you don't want to just like assume they're all edible like because there's the plant you uh, y-e-w that is very poisonous and can kill you um which is an evergreen so you want to be careful a little bit um but hmm. Let's see what's going down here like more ground ivy. Ground ivy, the winter survival food. Um, sometimes you can find mushrooms too. I think that was poop, not mushrooms. Gross. Uh, <laughs> so there's one of the reasons you want to be careful about harvesting things in parks like this because people bring their dogs and there's lots of dogs per small area. So um, then you know what dogs do at the base of trees, we just thought. Uh, anyway, <laughs> I was saying, um, sometimes you can find mushrooms like chaga or turkey tail or tinder conch or, um, painters, shoot, why can't I think of the name of it now? Uh, <laughs> artist conch, that's it. Um, which like aren't edible necessarily. Okay, here's a lot of acorns under here. Um, anyway, uh, so there's some mushrooms that have medicinal qualities that you can like make tea out of and um, oh wow, look at that one. It's growing into a little oak. It's like rooted into the ground. I don't know if you can really see it. It's pretty cool though. Um, anyway, here's a nice little cache of acorns. So I guess a lot of them are actually sprouting. Well, you could eat those. I mean, it's in a park, so they're just going to get mowed down anyway. Um, anyways, what was I saying? Oh yeah, there's lots of mushrooms. Well, I don't know if I should say lots of, but there's a few mushrooms that are medicinal that can find in the winter and you can make tea and it will be tasty and help keep you healthy. Um, so here's a spruce tree. You can look at it a little closer. It's got these pointy needles 
Um, that like pointy feeling is 